there, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, congratulations, Mihak503. This is your reading. You have won the free reading. And the deck that you have picked today is the Witch's Tarot. Um, so how can you win your free reading, you ask? Come to the live stream on Tuesday or on Thursday mornings. Come to the live stream on Thursday mornings and comment after the live stream is done. Um, Timestamp when your card was picked. And then we just do a draw from the back end there. And yeah, uh, the winner from April 30th is Mihak503. So congratulations. Here is your reading. All right, we'll just give this a nice little shuffle, get this ready for you. It is an honor and a pleasure to be able to read for you guys, so thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I love it when you guys come to the live streams. Tuesday and Thursday mornings is when we live stream. All right, here we go. Beautiful reading for me, Hack 503. Let's have a starting point here. Ooh, we've got the King of Wands reversed. Now, we've been dealing with a few um, reverse cards lately. Just because there's a lot of changes going on, I've got my number cheat sheet here. Um, just because there's a lot of changes going on. So, with the King of Wands, ooh, where are we here? He's passionate. He speaks well. He He's an action and a good leader. But at this time right now, there may be some force of inaction that needs to be had. Are we waiting? Are we pausing? What is our, what is our goal going on here? Um, and with reversed, it doesn't always necessarily mean like the opposite of um, what the upright position is. Enthusiastic energy. Um, watch out for arrogance, greed, and taking credit for someone else's hard work or ideas. A self-centered individual. So be aware of that sort of thing kind of happening right now. With this, what do we need to know about this King of Wands here? In a time of crisis, people can come sometimes come out and um, seem very sort of Selfish as they're looking out for themselves. But it's okay to be selfish as long as you're not hurting other people in the process sort of thing. All right, let's have a little bit more about this King of Wands, please. Well, ooh, a little more insight. Eight of Wands. A lot coming at this King. So maybe that's why he's a little uppity. Maybe that's why this King is a little grumpy. There's a lot going on, a lot like shooting and sticking again with the wands, kind of high action time right now, very fiery, um, career driven, where do we go, what do we do, how do we do it? A lot of ideas coming forward, a lot of things being thrown at, so really just take that time right now, um, eight of wands, have a look at um, the projects and ideas that are happening and make a list, so, you know, like with these eight, we've got that perpetual motion sort of thing going on. There's an action that's needed. Some things need more attention. Some things need to be let go of. Um, coming on to the full moon is a good time to be letting go of those things. Um, so yeah, that's a, a lot coming at a person is enough to make them not in the happiest. I don't like it when the royalty are on their heads because it's kind of a deeper subject. It's um, why is this king unhappy? Why is this queen unhappy? Why are they turned upside down? So with this eight of wands, what else do we need to know here? Let's see where this story takes us. Woo. Getting excited. They're getting excited. I don't know where my camera is today. There it is. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here we go, here we go. We've got the Six of Cups. So, <laughs> this is a really sweet card. Oh, I love the interpretation of this one. 
Um, this card came out reversed, however, so I'm just going to peek into the book about it. A lot of the reverse cards, when they specifically come out and they flip that way, we've got these two children that are playing. The Six of Cups is really interesting. It's got these depths to it because they're usually, it's a, cups are a water sign. It's a flowing sign, but they're filled with earth. Um, they're filled with that pentacle sort of thing going on. So with the Six of Cups coming in reverse, let's just see what our little keywords here are. Ooh, la, 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 la. Okay. So if you're feeling sad about things that may have come to an end, the Six of Cups upright reminds us, think about happy times when we were childhood. So if you're feeling like you're longing for something that's gone, that's past, um, these things that are coming at you are feeling overwhelming and bringing up that, um, that kind of longing, that, that wanting that innocent time, that childhood time, that fun laughing, nobody has a care in the world sort of time. But there's a lot of change going on right now too. Um, ah. Speaking of change, we've got the high priestess that have come in. So with the changes that are approaching us and coming towards us, things that we're working on with this eight of wands here, things that are coming at us, how we react to them, how we um, react to them in our, in our lives and our routines, what we decide to do with this information and, and with this pattern, the high priestess come in, comes in and she's got your back. Like, she's got that wonderful balance going on. Um, it's that balance of, like, the universe has your back. So whatever you're trying right now, go ahead and try lots of new things. And do what is feels the best out of the situation. Do what is going to rekindle that happiness and, and find that spark. And it may take more than one or two little things to do. That's why this aid is coming in. So um, have an experience with, uh, with a few new things. Don't overwhelm it, though. Um, just go with that little experience. The universe has your back right now. Ooh, Queen of Swords upright. Look at her just sitting here and thinking about the experiences that have been happening, right? Queen of Swords comes in, and there, she's going to cut out situations that are no longer serving. So hand in hand, quite a powerful pair with this um, High Priestess and the Queen of Swords that are coming in here working in your favor. So as that Queen is cutting stuff out, she's kind of, almost looks like she's controlling the water a little bit here too. So where the emotions are a little bit, um, a little bit rising and swelling, uh, she's got that sword, that stability there, where she's kind of sitting on this beautiful blue robe and it looks like it's flowing right into the water, but it's really not. So she has that stability there. And if, if something needs to be cut out, she has no problem doing it because it's going to be looking forward. And here she is with this high priestess is looking straight ahead. This queen of swords is moving forward. So looking forward. So whatever she's cutting out of this situation is going to be for the best interest. It's going to be for um, what allows the movement to go forward. All right. Very cool so far. Very, very cool. Where are we going? What do we need to know with this queen here where we're going forward? The hanged man. Oh, we pulled him reverse too. Ha, huh, okay. And the ten of swords. So the hangman comes in right here. He's the major arcana card. And having a look at that perspective... You know, right side up, he chooses to be this way. He chooses to hang upside down, have a look around at the world is going on. So when he comes right upright, it's like, I need to have a look at a different perspective. I need to hang upside down for a little while. And where we don't want the kings and queens on their heads, this fella, he likes to be upside down. He likes, he's rather curious. Um, where this queen is going to cut things out, it's got, we've got the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. So the Ten of Swords indicates the things that can no longer hurt us. Like, face down, all the swords are there. Anything that's going to stab you in the back or hurt your feelings that way has already been done. 
So you can take that power from it and you can become stronger from it, right? Like it just doesn't hurt anymore. So this queen is literally right here going to cut out the situations. It's It may hurt your feelings. Um, but this is where this hanged man comes into perspective, okay? Look at it, the larger picture. Um, and if somebody is showing true colors right now, have a look at this perspective that is going on. A lot of people are in a very difficult situation right now. And this Queen of Swords and this Ten of Swords, like, woo! That's some serious cutting out. So now what do we do with this information? Where do we need to take this in here? We've got these swords flying around, like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Um, after that Eight of Wands, everything coming at us. We've got this pair of swords on the bottom here. So with that perspective, and we're having a look around, we're learning about new ways that that Ten of Swords isn't going to hurt us anymore. Uh, and the Six of Wands. Reverse. Six of Wands. All right, so in order to be successful with this and have that victory, that Queen needs to cut it out. There's When you think you've cut a lot of the stuff out, there's going to be a little bit more. It's like that last little line of sweeping the floor and you're trying to get it in the dustpan, but there's still that little line of dirt. You sweep it in, there's still that little line of dirt. So with that Ten of Swords coming in, as we're looking at things that are no longer going to hurt us, remember that little line of dirt on the floor. Okay, so that's the Six of Wands coming in. Just kind of reminding, um, hey, we got to move ahead with this. <laughs> They're not quite on their head. That king, that knight of pentacles just came out reverse. He's a standstill sort of guy already as it is. So he's stopping right now and having a look. I think these guys, these guys are eyeing each other up. And it's that perspective that's coming in with the hanged man card, right? So <laughs> these two, the way that they are on the decks here... They're kind of looking at each other, kind of like a yin and yang. And this Knight of Pentacles is just having a look to make sure that it's left behind. That Ten of Swords is late. It's done. Do not drag it forward. Do not drag it into the long haul. This Knight of Pentacles, he's actually like looking backwards, looking this way, being like, yeah, no, we got to fix, make sure that stops there. He's looking at that Ten of Swords like, that's it. It stops. It stops here. No more. Six of Pentacles have just fallen out here. And he comes in and he makes sure things are balanced. We've got um, people with abundance giving to people with less abundance. People willing to give and receive. I had this one earlier today as well. So the Six of, uh, Six of Pentacles comes in and looks for that balance. Being able to give and receive. Being able to keep that flow of like money going. But back to the Six of Cups right here where that dirt is filling, right? Being willing to give, being willing to receive. Um, sometimes being on the receiving end of gifts is difficult. So allowing that to happen because it's okay. All right. What else do we need to know about this little bit here? Quite an interesting reading. It's just a little bit of chaos going on, you know. And, well, okay, a lot of chaos going on. It's the global thing, right? So as we're sitting here, we're trying to have normalcy. We're being faced with things, with having these times to ourselves. So we're being faced with things. And really, that's where this Ten of Wands, or Ten of Swords comes in. The Hangman, we're being faced with things. The new perspective of things. What do I do? Where do I go from here? What is no longer serving my higher purpose? And I've been talking about this for a long time, you guys. The Queen of Swords comes in and she just cuts it out. She gets rid of all the stuff that is no longer serving you. That Ten of Swords moment. The Six of Wands is just laying it right out there. And I mean, that's a time of turning points of regrouping. So with these sixes coming in, the Six of Pentacles also, Six of Cups over here. So we do have a lot of sixes lining up. Why did it take me so long to see this? We do have a lot of these sixes lining up here, just kind of on the over, over sort of view of things, you know, where it's starting out with a nice little, little um, pile right here, and it gets a little bit jumbly right in the middle. 
we have these sixes sitting all the way around on each section of this journey here. Mm, movement, movement, turning points, regrouping, victory. What do I need to leave behind and look forward to? What do I need to look forward to? Where do I need to regroup? What do I need to do to be successful? What do I need to do to feel successful? All right, let's have a little more insight into the 6P. Oh, I really like how these sixes have come up too. It does make some sense, really. Mm, that decision card again. Two of swords, two of swords, two of swords. Sitting on that decision, a little bit more needs to be cut out. Is there any more that can be cut away? Um, decluttering, organizing, having this two of swords comes right in here. You know, feeling a little blind in a situation also, but how, uh, that six comes in, right? So having this turning points is going to lead to other decisions that need to be made. Um, and we always have to make decisions, really. But again, with the swords, air energy in here, challenges, ways of thinking, going back to this hanged man right here in the middle of it all. Really quite phenomenal. What a beautiful growth cycle. I mean, growth and change isn't always beautiful, but the end result is rewarding. All right, a little insight on this two of swords here. We don't have a lot of things. Ha! We don't have a lot of things jumping out, I was going to say. And here's the page of swords, holding the sword, ready to go, ready to go, rushing. So things with these swords are going quickly. There's a lot of swords represented in this deck. And he's still looking like he's still got a little bit more to cut out on the back end of things here. Like just that little bit more to cut out. So where the decision needs to be made, take that time to have a look and see what else needs. Oh, lovely. See what else needs to go there with that decision. And it may come quickly. Oh, look at that. We've got the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Coming in with something fresh and something new. So after that page cuts it out with that sword, gone, gone, gone. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. We've got the Star card. Death card indicates another change. However, Ace of Wands again. So as cycling through, cycling through, cycling through, we're going to leave this here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Star card. The Star card is basically make a wish. Okay? We have a nice big full moon coming up, and I love doing banishing on the full moon. So maybe what this page and, and uh, page of swords and two of swords is time to, trying to remind us is, hey, banish it away. Let go of it. Um, let go of that Ten of Swords that's no longer needed at all in life. Change that perspective and turn your hanged man back upside down. He gets rather bored that way. Turn him back upside down. Give him some fun things to look at. Some new stuff. He's tired of this old stuff. All the stuff rushing at you. I love where she sits in the reading right here. Getting ready for this whole turmoil time that's going on in this midsection but the the high priestess comes in and it's when the universe has your back right so even though it may not feel the best like why is it why and a lot of times it comes up where it's like why is this happening to me um change it to what is the lesson here so instead of reacting into a situation take into consideration how to act in the situation Take that re away from it and take that power back for yourself. And I, I find that quite liberating. And, you know, like my example, even digging in the garden the other day was I trust the universe to guide my hand. So when the, the high priestess comes in, she's got your back. All right. So cycles, changes, things are going through. Just be aware not to drag that baggage forward. Let that ten of swords stay in the past. You don't need it no more. This page of swords is going to come. He's chopping it away for you, okay? I love that we finish off um, with this new cycle, going with the star card, ace of pentacles. Nice and grounded going forward. 
new beginnings. The star card is like make a wish upon the star. All right. So perfect timing for this. We've got the big full moon coming up. I really hope this, this reading resonates with you. And um, I would love to hear in the comment section how you feel about this. I feel it is um, a lovely cycle sort of thing. It's right about where we all are um, facing these things, releasing what no longer serves us. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the Thursday live stream and commenting, being entered and winning the free reading. Yay. All right. I hope you enjoy this reading. And for everybody else watching, you have an opportunity tomorrow morning to enter as well. Join me live stream and then comment when I pulled your card for you. All right, you guys, bright blessings to you. I will see you next time on the channel tomorrow morning, actually. <laughs> Bye. Mwah.